Banu, our male Asiatic lion, came to us a few years ago with a history of some ear problems when he was a younger animal. And over time here, we could see his ear was uncomfortable. So a few times we've got hands on, under anesthetic, had a look at the ear, had some specialists come in, and we could see that we couldn't get very deep into that ear compared to the other ear. But even the other ear, they're such very big ears with no instruments designed to go in there that it was very difficult to appreciate what was going on and to really get to the bottom at all and also to check that he had no middle ear disease, which is an area you can't actually see, we needed to have a better look using a CAT scan. So we got a CAT scan for our big cats. And we did this by getting a truck with a CT scanner on board so that we could safely move Banu just from his den into the CAT scan and back to his den, which was safe and comfortable for everybody rather than moving him far away. These procedures are always very much collaborative. Uh, we want the best for the animals, so we get all the specialists on board. We had a specialist to have a look, help us look at the ear itself from the Royal Veterinary College, a specialist dermatologist. And then while we were actually CT scanning live, we had a specialist in Australia having a look at the scans for us to decide whether we had anything we had to worry about further. We were very relieved to know that both sides were very symmetrical in terms of the middle ear, so no tumors and no disease there, but that his left ear canal was very narrow compared to the right. And this is no doubt why we keep getting infections there. We're probably getting a little bit of moisture trapped in there, which in the other ear just clears itself and with Banu leads to sort of a little bit of an environment where bacteria can, and yeasts can thrive. Moving forward, we now know that there's nothing seriously wrong with Banu's ears except for an outer ear infection, which we'd love to treat with just, you know, drops and a massage, but we can't do that. So we're going to be giving him some oral medication to reduce the inflammation in that ear. Also a little bit of medication to reduce infection in the ear and that should hopefully keep things under control. We will also be doing regular health checks so next time he has his health check we'll be just checking that ear giving it a bit of a flush and a clean if we need to and going forward we know that we can keep things under control and Bano should be comfortable.